I am Geoffrey Villardo and in a Tuscany campaign from version 4.1 of the Italian Wars, a mod for Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms. The Swabian League has been destroyed as a faction, possibly by the Swiss Confederation. The AI is asking for a Waffen steel stand, a weapon steel stand, the German word for truce. We are winning this war in the honest way, and Paris will be forever safe, as it is outside the campaign map, so our answer is no. The French diplomat claims to respect our decision, and the French show their respect by sending two armies to attack Paolo the Wrathful, guarding a bridge in the province of Lyon on the vienne lyon highway. This is the second such attack on this bridge. I will show just this one, as the other was a complete and utter slaughter. Note that this one is much more balanced. Something different, at least. Here is the smaller of the two French armies under Hauptmann Bernard, and the bigger army under Hauptmann Gautier, both with a mix of good units, including some heavy cavalry. Do not let the chance of ransom stay your hands in this battle. Our enemies need killing. That's all. As soon as the battle starts, the first enemy commander, Hauptmann Bernard, is killed by a cannon shot. We have placed our cannon so that they have a clear view of the entire length of the bridge, with our pikemen defending our end of the bridge so that the enemy units cannot get to our side of the river. And uh, here, the enemy heavy cavalry is slowly marching in our direction. A very well aimed cannon shot wipes out about a quarter of these three cavalry units with a single shot. Our serpentines keep firing, but unfortunately, the following shots land in the water. And the French cavalry is now charging our pikemen, who are defending our end of the bridge. Further shots are now hitting the enemy cavalry. And the French knights begin to rout. More devastating shots. And the enemy cavalry has been routed, but more horsemen are on the way. And even some pikemen. This has become something of a wooden pigeon shooting exercise. Our enemy is being murdered with every shot that lose dozens of men as they are packed up so densely on the bridge. Our cannon shots rip through the ranks. Death toll keeps rising, 
the enemy cavalry keeps routing. Some of the enemy cavalry is now attempting to rout through our blocks of pikes. That doesn't sound like a very good idea. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. And uh, more of the enemy knights are being murdered by our cannon. Now most of their cavalry has been routed. Some of the cavalry insist still to rout through our blocks of pikes. Here they are. They have been cut down. A few of them managed somehow to get through these dense pike formations. Our cannon is firing cannonballs through their ranks. The battlefield is shrouded in gun smoke. And also a fine mist. So the French are now have now regrouped and are making another attempt to cross the bridge. Sounds like they need to think of the backup plan. This pikeman look like a juicy target. And cannon shots rip through the ranks of the pikemen, killing dozens with every shot. More dead pikemen, more dead horsemen, more horsemen looking for trouble. The enemy knights don't seem to want to give up this totally futile charge down this bridge. Our serpentines are devastating the enemy cavalry. Not that the pikemen are faring any better. Now most of the pikemen have been routed. There's still some marching forward. It is unwise to praise the day for sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. And finally, these ones have changed their mind. That unfortunate pikeman was thrown high into the air by a cannon shot. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight! We must push our advantage! And as you can see from the balance of power on the upper right hand corner, we are now winning this battle by a huge margin. Most of the enemy units are routing or have already routed. There are a few still in the field of battle moving forward and uh, more units here have been routed. We still have some time to go. The battle is not quite over yet, although it looks decided. Our enemy is now beginning to hesitate. They stop their attempts to cross the bridge they put some archers here on the far side of the bridge and begin to fire from the distance at our men. These are long bowmen. They have a very 
long range and so some of our units are pulling back to avoid being murdered by the fire of the longbowmen. We have these St. John Knights now, presumably these are knights we sent off to Rhodes and they came back after the end of that war and um, we sent them up this way, now they have attacked the uh, French archers. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. It doesn't seem right for St. John Knights to fight other Christians, but uh, the alternative would have been to disband them, which would have been a waste of several thousand florins. Retreat! So, more pikemen have made their appearance, they have uh, frightened the uh, St. John Knights, and they have retreated after killing most of those long bowmen. Now the French pikemen are marching down the bridge and uh, they have been shot by our, our kibuzius here in the foreground or rather by our hand gunners here in the foreground and they have been robbed. More pikemen are heading this way. They are also being fired out by our hand gunners and uh, by our mounted crossbowmen and uh, a unit of Tuscan crossbowmen that are on foot. They've all almost made it to our side of the bridge. That's the first enemy infantry unit that's made it through. Our cannon have by now run out of ammunition. There are no more cannon shells left, no more cannon shot left. Enemy pikemen are nearly through, but they begin to waver. You see the flag is in the rear. And they break. They break under the heavy fire from our crossbowmen. And they get cut down to a man. A few are taken prisoner here. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, Victory will be ours. So the bridge is clean except for the dead bodies of the French soldiers. Now it's time to cross the bridge. There are a few units on the other side that do not dare to cross. And here is a unit of enemy pikemen, I believe. And they are being harassed by our mounted crossbowmen. More mounted crossbowmen are headed this way. The enemy has two units of cavalry over here that uh, never took part in this battle, never tried to cross to our side of the river. Our mount crossbowmen have uh, routed this unit of pikemen and now just these two units of enemy knights remain in the field of battle. And the unit on the right is somewhat stuck. For some reason they are partly outside the map. They haven't entered the battle map completely. There are a few horsemen stuck outside the map. So it's a little bit bagged out that unit. The other unit and uh, the distance is uh, free to move. It seems it may have suffered some casualties already. It seems to have relatively few men and they seem to be retreating. Mounted 
They are retreating ever so slowly, and they are being slaughtered by the crossbow fire from the mounted crossbow. French knights are making things difficult for us. They can also not be shot at since they are considered outside the map. Nonetheless, we have gained a victory. The enemy are overcome! Paolo the Ruffle has won a decisive and heroic victory. Our enemy lost 15 men for each one lost from our side. One of our serpentine batteries killed 571 men, the other nearly a thousand men, and our pikemen took 380 of the enemy prisoner, as the enemy units kept routing, as is so often happens in bridge defenses, through our own units. Thank you for watching.